What's up guys? Today we're taking a look at a type of case that we haven't checked out in quite some time. It is a home theater PC case and this one is from Silverstone. It's their Grandia GD08. So let's take a look. As we start on the front of the case, it has a nice aluminum finish. The rest of the case is made out of steel, but the front is a nice brush of aluminum, and that's gonna look really, really good inside your home theater setup or where you ever have this setup. People are gonna see this first, and it's gonna look really nice. You have two optical bays right here, and they have the covers, so when you install your drive, you're not gonna see the front of the drive. You're just gonna look exactly like this, and then you have your two buttons here. They're gonna allow you to open your drive without actually have, having to hit the button on the drive itself. Below here, you have your headphone jack, microphone jack, and then you have two USB 3.0 ports. Moving over here, you have a nice Silverstone logo. You have your large power button, and you have a reset button, and you also have your hard drive activity LED or power LED. I'm not really sure which one it is because it's not labeled, but it's gonna be one of the two right there. This is the left side of the case, and it's pretty much all plain except for this little filter right here. And this is actually gonna go where the bottom of your power supply is. So all the dust and everything that's gonna get caught up in there. You can easily take this out and you can see it does have that nice filter right there and putting it back in is just as easy. Line it up, snap it back in, there we go. And you're good to go. Now this is the right side of the case and there is another large fan filter here. And this one's a little bit different. All you do to take it off is you push it this way so push it, it comes off, and you can see nice fan filter, makes it super easy to take out and clean. And behind there you have a spot for a 120 millimeter fan, and you do have an installed 120 millimeter fan, which is nice. Putting it back on is just as simple. Line it up, Oops, didn't line it up. Line it up, then slide it right on, and you're good to go. On the back of the case, you can kind of see how everything's gonna go in. Your power supply obviously is gonna be here, your motherboard being here, and then you have room for two 80 millimeter exhaust fans right here. Also, you have a slot right here. If you can see, there is a little ventilation section up here, so you can maybe fit a slot fan up here to help pull your video cards or something like that, but it's pretty basic. One thing that I didn't like as much on this case is the screws to take off the top panel are not thumb screws, so you actually need a screwdriver to take those off, which we'll see in a second. I have the case standing up and what I wanted to show you is that the bottom of the case actually has fan filters on it as well. So to give you a reference point, this is the front of the case, this is of course the back. And we do have two fan filters here and they're pretty easy to take off. Kind of pull them out like that and they'll pop off like that. Um, same thing with this side. Pop off like that. And you have two 120 millimeter intake fans that will take air from the bottom of the case and draw it up through the case. Um, you can also fit another 120 millimeter one right here that's not installed, but it's nice to have these, all these fan filters that you see in this case. This is a case, I mean, home theater PC cases are cases that you're not really gonna change a lot. You're not really gonna change out parts and everything like that. They're gonna sit there, they're gonna play movies for you, they're gonna you know, watch internet TV or whatever you're doing with it. It's not gonna move a lot, so it is gonna pick up a lot of dust. So all these filters are really nice. They can be taken out, be cleaned, be put back on just as easily. So that's really good. Also, you have these four very large um, case feet here, and they're going to bring the case off the bottom of the ground so these intake fans can actually take in air. Now, I've already taken the screws off the case, and this case just opens um, like a side panel on a normal case. So you just pull it a little bit, and it comes right off just like that. We'll set it back there. And you can see inside the case, this does fit ATX motherboards. You can see all of our fans here. So you have three fans total. You have 120 millimeter here on the side and then you have the two 120 millimeters right there um, on the bottom of the case. And again, you do have room for two 80 millimeter ones back here. And of course you have room for another 120 millimeter right down there. Now, what's cool about this case is, you notice these, these right here, these handles. And, I, and when I first opened this, I wondered what they were. I've taken out all the screws. There's two screws on this side, two screws on this side, and two up here that you can actually take out to take this out. So, you know, sometimes installing drives in a case like this is really hard. Um, I've done it so many times with a case like this where they don't actually come out. You kind of have to force them in there, especially once you get your power supply installed and everything like that. It's just a pain. So 
what they have done here is they allow you to pull this completely out. And as you can see, your two optical drives are going to be in here. It looks like you can do four hard drives right here, as well as two or three more. I'm guessing three. It looks like you can do three more right here. That's awesome. So you have room for a lot of hard drives. You can put them all in, get everything installed, very easy to do. And then when you're done, you simply just line it up here, put it back in, put your screws back in, put these down and you're good to go. Again, full ATX motherboard, which is nice. Um, not a lot of home theater PCs can fit that. This will, so if you have an old motherboard or something, you know, you just wanna run movies or something, it can go right in here, which is really, really nice. So this concludes our overview video of the Silverstone Grandia GD08 home theater PC case. Check back very soon on Think Computers for the full review. We're also gonna be doing an installation video, so if you do have this case or you're thinking about buying it, you can see how to install everything. That's gonna be coming up, so check back for that. And remember, if you like our videos, make sure you subscribe. We'll catch you guys later.